And so it begins. Starting to put our array together. I got a little extra help today. I got Justin and Harold and Clay. They're off somewhere else uh, picking up something. So we got it laid out here, but uh, the day is already presenting some challenges. This is uh, this is the driver bit I used to drive some really big uh, piling that I was not wanting to use because these posts are pretty thin. Uh, the post that the piling that we drove with this was probably a quarter of an inch. But what I'm running into is that the new piece won't quite something's out of dimension on it and it won't slide up in my uh, in my hammer so we're trying to decide what to do about that may have to take a little grinder and grind some of this off here but it's just out of spec anyway we're gonna see I've got another one they're fixing to bring it over here we're gonna try it and see if it works well, let me get back to it. Well, here we go. Setting the bucket up in place. At our first, first post standing. I'm gonna try this other bit that I have. Because the shank on the new set would not work. But we're gonna try this with our hat and see how that works. Get to work. Might just pull you level up now, Hey folks, this is Jeff. Finally got an opportunity to uh, start working on my Sinclair ground mount for my PV array. We drove these five posts in today and it took all of 10 hours to do this. Uh, I had some really good help Clay and Justin and Harold and myself. These posts were 12 foot long. And of course the ground's not quite level. But the deepest one on this end here is seven feet in the ground. The one on the far end is six and a half feet. And then the others are a little different because the ground's not quite level but it was a pretty good chore to put these in i started out using my makita 42 pound demolition hammer to uh, drive these things and of course we had the bucket truck available to us that was handy and this 12 foot ladder uh, but it uh didn't have enough hump to it uh it would drive it probably about five foot and then it wouldn't do any more. So I had to run up to the equipment rental place in Thomasville, which is about 45 miles from here. And they had a 65 pound Hilti demolition hammer. And that, that did it, but it did take a while. Once it got down to the hard spot, uh, we were getting maybe a half inch a, uh, a minute on some of it when we got down to the last 12 inches or so. 
and my little top hat that I had made, I showed you in another video. And that worked really well. And when I walk over there, I'm gonna show you uh, how my posts look. But by the time I got to this last one over here, this last post, it was starting to come apart at the welds. And we actually, we got, got down the last 12 inches and it was just completely coming apart. So I had to stop and run over to my neighbor's house who also is a class A welder. That's his shop right over there. He welded it up for us so I could put this last one in. But one of the very useful tools that I used uh, was this Hupar, I don't know if I'm saying that right, auto level, laser level. Uh, that was really, really useful. And I have this uh, detector here. And it will actually tell you when you get to the right spot. So I use that to level all this up. It, this is available on Amazon. It's, it's not a real, it's probably not a real high quality unit or a very real durable unit. If you're a contractor, this might not be for you. I don't know. I bought it specifically for this project. Probably, probably less than $200. I don't remember. But uh, I didn't want to be worrying with my transit level. So I used this and uh, let's see, I feel like I'm blocking it off. And I leveled out all these by measuring the appropriate height from the top. These, these are all uh, 17 inches measured from the top to this line. And this is the level line with my transit. So that's how I leveled all this up. And then uh, we use these batten boards here to keep everything in a line. And I think we did pretty good with it. I got it up on top of the post now because uh my guys want to see if they were actually all level and as you can tell there's no gaps everything is actually sitting right under that string so it worked out pretty good we did have to dig down about a foot because the crust of this ground was so hard that we could not drive the post into the ground at all. So we had to dig down, get through the crust, and we got in a little softer soil, and it really drove really well until it hit, uh, I guess, some clay for the last foot and a half, or a little bit more. And uh, that took a long time to drive through. We, we were actually out here all 10 hours. Uh, though I did have to go get the, uh, get the bigger hammer. But my little top hat had some dimples in it where they welded it up at the welding shop. And it did dent the top of my post a little bit with where the uh, tack welds were, but that's no biggie, that's no big deformity. Uh, so I, th you know, I think this has done pretty doggone good. And if we build another one of these, it will be our second project. So tomorrow I'm gonna put the I guess, uh, I don't know what they call them, the trusses or the the, the, the angled beams across, across here, and the bracing and then the purlins. And we'll just see how far we, we get. Uh, I got a, quite a few things customers are wanting me to do for them. But I, 
I figured if I didn't do this during the week, I was trying to do it during the weekends and it just wasn't working out. So I just had to uh, bite the bullet and do it during the week. But the, the bucket truck was really handy. It's got the winch on there. It held the hammers up, the hammer up while the guy in the bucket was operating it. I know he's going to be sore tomorrow because he did a lot of hammering. It took a long time. But anyway, if I can figure out how to splice some of these other videos in here, I took some short ones. There was a lot of noise when we were doing the hammering, so I didn't, didn't have any discussion going on, but I may try to post some of that in here if I can. Or it may even come before this. We'll see. Alright, enjoy your evening.